What's up, y'all? Uh, yeah. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is, um, something a little different. Just a little different, you know? Just a little bit. Here, let me get you a face of over here. There we go. So, yeah. Um, DIY video, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, let me, uh, just cut to the chase. They say it's called a battle vest. Um, I sometimes I call it that. Sometimes I just say my punk vest because it's laced with punk patches and buttons and whatnot all around and stuff. Because I love punk rock, man. And uh, whenever I go to any punk rock show of any band I love or local band or whatever, uh, you know definitely want to walk away with at the very least a patch or a button so it can go on here as a memento you know that's the vest but I do have a jacket it's not a leather jacket it's denim black denim because I look badass in black denim right ladies let's I have to edit that out. But yeah. This is the, the metal one, I would say. Um, this is my metal jacket. So that one was the punk one. That was the punk vest. This is the metal jacket. And this pretty much has... The, the theme with this, of course, is just my favorite metal bands. Same thing, buttons, patches, whatever. Um, and we'll... You can see some of my faves on here if you recognize them it's kind of started to take a different life and not just be a metal jacket because there are some non-metal artists uh, represented on here but um yeah these are my babies I've been working on these since I think I got the vest the vest I got the vest before the the jacket back in 2016 I believe so four years damn four years yeah and um yeah man uh they're one of my favorite things to work on piece of art piece of art that I get to work on that is in line with something that I love to do which is go to concerts which is connected to something else that is a big, huge part of my life which is 90% of who I am most for the most part uh music music lover so yeah i love adding stuff to these two pieces to these these two and this video of course is about adding a little more i just got some studs studs and spikes and um studsandspikes.com if you don't know about them check them out if you want to make your shit look even doper killer sicker iller fresher whatever it may be um and yeah i got those today in the mail and i'm gonna add them on to these i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys see how that looks uh so yeah let's get to it all right got the studs got my pliers because i've seen a lot of videos say that these are the easiest way to bend the uh points Sorry, points of the studs. Get my nasty ass fingers out of there. Got one down. So let's uh, do the rest. Let's get to work. what we got so far around the collar area 
Go down the shoulders. Yeah. Um, my hands are sore. <laughs> when you use these studs, right? So when you use these studs, here's the thing. When you use these studs, this is what they look like. Okay. Now they have these pointy ends here. And what you do is you have to stick them through and bend those pointy ends in to close them into your fabric. A lot of people will recommend using these. I do. Make sure yours are good. If you can see, the issue I kept running into was that these are crooked. So to get a good hold on them and bend them, it's not as easy as it should have been. Um, and then on top of that, some of them still pop out even when I bent the, uh, the pins in. So you can either, I use a flathead, a flathead screwdriver to help bend them, invert the pins a lot more into the ends, into the inside. Focus, please. Uh, onto the inside of the stud. I want to get them in there deep so that they uh, won't fall out. Because look, these are in there. Those are in there. So yeah. All right. That's part one for the battle jacket and part two will be for the battle vest. Peace.